Pramila Vale. I am from Sri Siddeshwar Women's Polytechnic, Solapur. Working as a lecturer in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering Department. Today, we are studying the working of SCR by using a software protease. So, first click on protease. New project. Here write your project name. Working of SCR. Next. Here click on create a schematic from the selected template. Next. You get a screen. For this, we required some components like SCR, register, power supply. So, click on component mode. In that, click, click on P. Write your component name like SCR. Select. Double click on it. Next, register. Double click on it. Next. AC supply for that alternator. Double click on it. Then press OK. Now place the components one by one. First SCR. We can rotate this by using a plus button. So press the plus button. Next, register and alternator. Connect these components by wire. The most important is a ground. So, click on terminal mode. In that, select ground and connect it. For gate we required a pulse so click on generator mode in that select a pulse and connect it to the gate terminal. Now basic our set our input so double click on it here type the amplitude like 500 and frequency is 3. Click on OK. For pulse double click on it. Pulse voltage is 1 volt. Start time duration 10 millisecond. Pulse width 10. Frequency Click on OK. To see the waveforms, click on graph mode. In that analogy, this is for input, this is for gate current. This is for our anode to cathode voltage. This probe is for our input. Write down VI, input voltage. Next, for input current, click on current. This is our anode current I A. Okay. Next, we also require a voltage across the SCR that is a 
anode to cathode voltage so click on voltage this is our vaq we also required a gate current ig so this is for gate current this is ig okay now drag one by one parameter this is our input so click on it and gate current ig next we require anode current next anode to cathode voltage we also take the input now simulate the graph this is our anode current and this is our input and output voltage when we change the pulse duration this pulse duration is nothing but is our alpha if we change the value of alpha we can change the output voltage if the alpha value is low then we get a maximum output and if alpha is high then we get a low output see how it works change the starting time if it is 20 means your alpha is increased then you get a small output graph see this is our output again if i can change it as a 50 millisecond again your alpha is increase so you get a less output Okay. it means that when alpha is minimum you get a maximum output and if alpha is maximum then output is minimum thank you